Hi friends, welcome back to your practice. I am Katie Arnold and today is our yoga for self-confidence, slow flow. So in this short practice, we are going to build some strength in our bodies to help us go into the rest of our days feeling strong and with that feeling confident. So you don't need any props for this class, just yourself and me as your teacher to guide you through this practice today. Now, before we meet on our mats, just a gentle reminder that if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do so. Like this video, comment below. Let me know how this practice helped support you today. And make sure while you're at it, grab your free mindful movement class calendar to help connect with yourself each morning and decide what your movement practice can look like that day based on how you're feeling. So go ahead, roll out your mat and I will meet you there. All right, so we're gonna get started in a child's pose, bringing those big toes together. Knees can go out nice and wide. Let that heart soften to the earth. Forehead might rest all the way down onto the mat. And then I'm gonna give you a couple options here for your arms. Either you can walk those fingertips forward or you might walk them forward and then bring the palms together, allowing the elbows to rest down on your mat. And then bending at the elbows, bringing the palms overhead and maybe the thumbs attached to the back of the neck. And just giving yourself an option here if one feels better than the other. And allow yourself to soften. Take a couple of cleansing breaths allowing that breath to bring you into the space of our practice. Allowing that breath to soften you a little bit deeper. Just allowing that breath to take you wherever it may. We will connect to our ujjayi breath. So those inhales and exhales out through the nose, feeling that slight constriction at the back of the throat. And I just want you to bring yourself into that breath in a really easy, natural and authentic way for you today. So maybe you need a few more cleansing breaths before you can get to that nose to nose breathing. Maybe it just feels really authentic to get there right away. It'll give you about two more breaths in this child's pose and to find that ujjayi breath. When it feels good to you, start to press yourself up into a tabletop position, bringing those wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. Just take a couple cat cows, dropping your belly, lifting your gaze. And exhale, rounding that spine, chin to chest. So that inhale is your cow pose. That heart shines forward. The gaze is just gently forward. And then that exhale is your cat pose, that belly pulls in up towards the spine. So move with your breath between these two postures. Let's take two more rounds.
Feet back in that neutral tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And just to start to pull that core in. So feel that core engagement. Feel the structure, the stability in this posture. And then when you're ready, start to take that left leg back towards the back of your mat. And just start to kind of shift the hips back slightly so you get a nice stretch through the back of the calf. I guess through that left calf, <laughs> the calf is the back, but start to feel that nice stretch, that nice opening. And then shifting those hips back over the right knee, lift that left leg. Let the toes flex down towards your mat. Find that justi, that point on your mat that you can rest your gaze. And when you're ready, start to reach that right arm forward. Like you're about to shake somebody's hand. And so you'll notice now we've created this nice long line from the right fingertips all the way through the bottom of that left heel. That core is fire. It is on fire. Feel the strength here. Keep breathing. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, bring that right knee to the left elbow, crunching it in, catting that back. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. One more time, exhale, contract. This time, inhale, extend. Either stay here or start to bend that left knee, reaching back with that right hand, and maybe you find a bind. Letting that right hand clasp onto whatever is accessible here. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, unwind. We'll meet back in our tabletop position. Take a full round of breath to reground to anchor. Now extend that right leg back. So the right toes come down onto the mat and then shift the hips back slightly until you start to feel that stretch through the calf. Breathing into the space, into the length that we're creating. And then start to shift the hips back forward, lift that right leg off of your mat, toes down towards the space, down towards your mat, and reach those left arms forward. Think about allowing that left thumb to point up towards the ceiling, like you're giving somebody a thumbs up. Find that balance right here. Take one more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Bring that left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, we extend. Exhale, we meet. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. And stay here or bend that right knee, reaching that left hand back. Finding your bind with a little bit of a twist. Breathing here, kicking into that hand. One more big breath in. Exhale, release everything back down. Take a full round of cat and cow. And curl those toes under, send the hips high. We'll find our downward facing dog. So go ahead, pedal out those heels. Bending one knee, bending the other. <sighs> let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. <sighs> Walk it out. <sighs> Release any heat if you need to with an open mouth exhale. Rediscover your breath, tap back into your breath and find stillness, right? Start to feel the heels pull down towards the mat, knowing they don't need to touch, but we're just moving in the direction of the mat. Feel that chest press back towards your thighs. Inhale, send that right leg high behind you, three-legged dog. 
and exhale, step that foot all the way through in between your hands. Soften that back knee down to the mat. Take two rounds of breath right here. Hands framing that front foot. Right knee over that right ankle. Keep that left hand down. Inhale, reach that right arm high. Low twisting lunge. We'll stay for two breaths. Exhale, bring that hand back down to the mat. Curl those back toes under. Lift that back knee. Feel this nice, strong, stable foundation. And when you're ready, sweep both arms up, coming into our crescent pose. So that core has fired and turned on once again. Right knee over the right ankle, strong back leg. Energy reaching up through those fingertips. Take a big breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, open up that chest. Stay for a full round of breath. Inhale, reach those arms back up high, crescent pose, and stay for the breath out. Inhale up, star pose, heels in, toes out, reaching nice and big. And exhale, goddess squat, start to sink that seat down, cactus those arms once again. Feel that opening, that expansion through the chest. Feel the shoulder blades pulling back behind you. Big breath in. Strong breath out. Inhale, reach up, big star pose. And exhale, land into a warrior two. So we have a heel to arch alignment with that foot. Arms are at a T, gaze this over that front middle finger. Take a big breath in, strong breath out. One more full round of breath. Take this back left hand and start to sweep it forward. As you do so, your hips square back with the front of your space. You lift that back heel. We end up back in our crescent pose, right? Big breath in. Exhale, start to sweep those arms behind you, lifting off of that back leg, coming into a airplane pose. So that right foot is our base. Grounding down through all four corners of that right foot. And it's okay if you're a little bit wobbly. I am too here today. But can you create length from the crown of your head through the heel of that left foot? Finding that jishti, that point of focus that isn't moving. One more big breath in. Exhale, both feet meet forward, fold top of your mat. <sighs> Let it go. <laughs> <sighs> Inhale up, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands to the mat. Step back to a high plank. Create that strong foundation that long line of energy, big breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, hover them about an inch or two off of your mat. Feel that core really fired on now, big breath in. Exhale, send those hips high down or facing dog. Catch up with your breath. Notice if it got away from you a little bit. I know mine did. So taking a couple breaths here just to reconnect. And taking that over to the other side. Inhale, send that left leg high behind you. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Soften that right knee down to the mat. We just stay in this low lunge for about two breaths. Big breath in. Big breath out. Keep that right hand planted. Inhale, sweep that left arm high, low twisting lunge.
plant that right, that left hand back down, curl those right toes under, lift that right knee, feel that strong foundation in the legs. And when you're ready, sweep those arms up, coming into our crescent pose, our high lunge. Strong legs, almost feel like they're pulling together even though they're not moving. So you feel those inner thighs fire on. Big inhale. Exhale, open up the, that chest, cactus those arms. It's like a baby back bend. Full round of breath. Inhale back up through crescent. Stay for the exhale. Inhale is that star pose, heels in, toes out, reaching big, exhale, goddess squat, sink that seat down. Cactus those arms, feel that expansion, that opening through the chest. And when we're in this cactus arms, I want you to almost think of, what do they call it? Like a Superman posture. So like they often say, if you're going into an interview, go into the bathroom first, put your hands on your hips and open up that chest, puffing the chest forward. So you're like, I got this, I'm Superman, right? I want you to think that in this goddess posture when we have this cactus arm. So think about creating confidence, that space. If your legs are shaking, great. Inhale, open up star pose. And exhale, settle in warrior two, gazing over that front middle finger. Engage that core, let the shoulders relax down your back. Feel strong here. Inhale, start to sweep that right arm forward as you come up onto the ball of that right foot, landing back in our crescent posture. Just a nice little transition, big breath in. Exhale, sweep those arms behind you, lift up off of that back foot. So now our left foot is, in, is our base. And try to keep those hips square here. And it's okay if you are just balancing a tiny bit and maybe your toes kind of tap the mat and you lift them back up when you find a little bit more stability. This is your practice today. If you fall out completely, just come right back and meet me. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Final inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Let it go, let it go. Do we start singing Frozen? <laughs> I'll spare you all of that today. Inhale up, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. Big inhale. Exhale, bend those knees, hover them off of your mat, bare plank. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale back, down dog, two breaths. Inhale, start to shift it back forward into a high plank. And exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly, tops of your feet to the mat. Start to walk those hands out. So I like to think about bringing them right to the outside corners of my mat and then tenting up onto your fingertips. Send your elbows straight up towards the sky. And on an inhale breath, lift the head, lift the chest, intimidation, cobra. So just coming as high as feels good in your body. No strain here, but just feeling some active work. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths. Final round. Exhale, lower. Stack your hands. Let your forehead rest on stacked hands. Release any tension in the legs.
And just start to take that right arm right out of the right shoulder, bringing those left fingertips underneath the left shoulder and start to roll over onto your right hip. So coming into our intense shoulder stretch, you can keep those legs stacked, or if you have a little bit more space, you can bend that left leg and just plant that left foot behind the right leg. And you get to control actually how intense this stretch is here. And if for some reason you're not feeling anything and you need a little bit more, you can roll onto your belly and cactus that right arm and then take the same posture, that rolling onto the hip, but knowing that that's gonna make things a lot more intense, a lot quicker. So I really like to start here and I can find the more that I kind of like roll my hips back. I can find just where my edge is, that place that feels good without taking it too far for me today. And start to roll back down onto your belly. We'll take this over to the other side. So extending that left arm out, tenting up onto those right fingertips and rolling onto those, your left hip. And then again, maybe you stay right here. If you have a little bit more space, bending that right leg, planting that foot behind the left, maybe you roll just a little bit more. So the video may not even pick up how much I am just taking a little bit gentle or a little bit more of a gentle roll onto that left hip and glute until I can find that place where I really feel the opening that I need through my shoulder. <sighs> it feels so good though. This is one of my favorite postures. So just think about here, because we're going to get into the upper chest with this stretch as well. So, but we've done so many of those cactus arms. We've really kind of opened things up here. So I want you to think about creating that confidence and letting it exude out of your chest, out of your being. So whether you need that confidence for an interview, for a tough conversation, or just to get through your day, you have that ability right here. Rolling back down onto your belly, coming out of this posture, and then we'll just flip all the way over onto our backs, laying all the way down, planting those feet, knees up towards the sky, and cross that right ankle over the left thigh. this leg package in a little bit closer, but today I'm going to opt for keeping my left foot planted and I'm bringing my right hand to the inside of my right thigh and I'm just going to give it a little pass it deeper, but I don't want to take things too far today. Take too far any day, but I think you know what I mean. Gentle for my body today. So, where are you at? Where are you landing? On crossing those legs, crossing on the other side. So, for me, that's left ankle over the right thigh, but for some reason, you were opposite before. So, you just do the opposite now. Then again, I'm bringing my left hand to the inside of my left thigh and just gently guiding that leg a little bit more forward. Unwinding those legs, knees into your chest. Just take a couple circles with the knees. 
Massaging out that low back. And then go ahead and take your circles in the other direction. Giving love to this body. And letting each leg extend out long on your mat. Arms resting by your side. Get out any of the final wiggles that you need to here. We are landing in our Shavasana, our final resting posture. So giving yourself a moment here of gratitude for all that your body was able to accomplish. Knowing that you're gonna carry this feeling of strength, this feeling of achievement, and this confidence out into the rest of your day. Take a big breath in through your nose. Big sigh out of an open mouth. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Taking those small movements to just ever so gently reawaken the body. Going over onto your left side. One more moment of rest, peace, compassion for yourself. Using those strong arms, pressing yourself up, finding an easy seat on your mat. Hands can rest on your knees or come right to heart center. Inhale, sweep those arms up nice and high. Gather in all of this confidence that we built today. Pull those hands down through heart center. Gentle bow of the head. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel confident and ready to take on your day. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om, peace, peace, peace. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you again next time.